Welcome everybody and thanks for joining me at the Lost Begotten channel. It occurred to me that I should make a searchable video about this particular little concoction here. So, welcome to how to use a power head as a sump pump. As you can see here, I technically just have an aquarium below my aquarium, so it's not technically a sump. But, as you can see, the effect is nonetheless the same. Only, if my siphon breaks there in my overflow box, being as it is mounted high, this is only going to pump so much water into my living room floor via the top tank overflow. But, you know, keep your siphon algae, algae free and you won't have much to worry about. I haven't had this siphon broke since I bought it and put it in. Um, it's been through a couple power outs, it's been just fine, I can unplug the pump just fine. Alright, so getting back to the particulars of the pump, this is, I believe, an AquaClear 70, or 50, is it a 50? Yes, it's a 50, see, 50. Okay, so this isn't even the biggest power head that you can get from uh, Hagen. Or is it Fluval making them now too? I don't know. So, as you can see, I have the bubbler sitting on a short hose held in by a zip tie. And the reason for this is if you have to turn this off for any length of time, it may fill with air and it may, you know, click and rattle at you instead of getting going. And you can simply reach in there and prime it right there. And of course, that being up there also helps with breaking the seal if it should start, you know, flooding your tank due to a siphon release. Now, what I really like about this is I like, well, A, the reliability of Hagen, because um, I've used these power heads for decades, and B, I like this basket. I like the, the pre filter on these big power heads because basically that's big enough to where flake food and brine shrimp and prospective baby fishes can just float around it and not get sucked into it. They just kind of steadily, very slowly get drawn through. But um, it doesn't seem the amount of flow I get from it suffers. Got plenty of current. The anemone has his current back. I had actually you know, obviously I installed a power head when I had to disconnect this whole thing to keep the current on the anemone like he likes it. But okay, so there are some new Eheim mini pumps, also made by Hagen Fluval Incorporated or whatever. Hagen Fluval Eheim, all the same company basically. And while they serve a similar purpose as far as, you know, you can mount them high in just a bottom tank and you don't need to get a sump per se, you can just have whatever, just a giant refugium like I have here. Um, but the reason why I like using a power head is because that attaches to that, but not a pump. And, um... I thought I might post this video in case anybody wanted to have a nice safe refugium um, that, you know, you didn't need a big glass divider in to keep things from getting sucked into a pump. Or just in case you wanted to connect two tanks and you happen to already have a power head lying around, you can use your power head just like a sump pump. All you got to do is attach a hose to it and hold a bucket and just kind of raise it up raise it up while you're pouring out and you can see just do a little basic test and you can see how high you can have the difference between your top and bottom tanks um, an AquaClear 50 plenty of room to work with um, a 30 can would probably get this done but a 20 that one right there a 20 went up about halfway, to give you an idea. Okay. So a 20 can only make it about 20 inches. I'm guessing really like 
it probably just happens to line up to where the designation of the power head is right about what the inches it can push water up a hose is. Okay, so I had talked about possibly removing this diffuser, but I'm glad I left it on because I just started this system back up. I had it kind of quarantined. Um, but I've done some little tests to see if my quarantine was effective. And apparently that snail doesn't think so. But um, the whole reason why I rushed setting this back up is because I knew my water quality was top notch up here and the water quality just seemed to be going shit down here so I did a big water change and I reconnected the tanks and this snail had been looking bad and he's looking a little better and this little guy here huh? he's already back on the glass I guess I'm not worried about him this is the guy that fell apart or fell off the glass and got stuck on his back earlier so he was stuck on his back for a while so I guess he's just not feeling up to fighting the renewed amount of current that just got just happened all right so I'm gonna really try hard to stop babbling and um, here I go <laughs> freaking alarm clock thanks everybody uh, like and subscribe hope you found this useful peace